Hello, Je Gemma from Lit Magazine. Simon, um, you obviously want One Direction to win. If they weren't in the running, who would you want to win? Oh. And can you give us your verdicts on your <coughs> contestants, please? I can't do that. Uh, I do like these. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've been a big fan of Rebecca um, from day one, even from her first audition. I remember Nicole saying to me when Cheryl was away that <laughs> this girl has got star quality, and she was right. Nicole who? Nicole. Shows oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Cher, um, you know, again, from the very first audition, I thought she was terrific. And, you know, just picking up this so-called hate campaign, what I've loved about Cher is that she doesn't play games. I've worked with a ton of contestants on these shows. have been outstanding. I think he's a great singer and I genuinely welcome the competition and it's made me raise my game. The boys have raised their game and that's why I'm excited about the weekend. Lady at the back, Mark. Thank you. This is a question for One Direction. Um, Can you say where you're from? Please? Gemma from Heat World. Um, our viewers are in love with all of you boys. But we want to know who gets the most attention. Harry. 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 And Harry, is there any special celebrity ladies out there that you've got your eye on? Ooh. Now's your... What was that? Harry has a major crush on Frankie Sanford. <gasps> yes! Big scoop. More of an obsession, actually, the end. <laughs> Hello, Ellie from New Magazine. This is a question for Matt. I'm just wondering, you've been a favourite for pretty much the whole of the way through the show. I'm just wondering how you will feel if you win and what you will do to avoid following in the footsteps of male winners like Steve Brookstein. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, th th there's definitely some added pressure with being a favourite. I mean, I've kept my nose out, you know, off the internet and out out the magazines um, with respect to that. Um, it's nice that people are having that much faith to consider me a favourite. That's lovely to hear. Um, as, as far as what I would do to, to not go the way of Steve, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> How much that had to do with him or not I'm, not, I'm not sure. I wasn't closely following that that season. Um, I'll just do my best and work my hardest, um, you know, and just fingers crossed and hope to have a career. Right, one final question, I'll please. I'll give them a couple more, Polly. <laughs> oh, they've got to be good, then. Um, over here? Hi, David Stevens from <coughs> Sunday Express. A uh, question for Simon. Given that um, public seemed to have been misled on how their votes will be used last Sunday, um, would you consider a free phone vote for fans <coughs> this Sunday? Do you know what? I watched the tape back and maybe, look, I, I, if, if we mis misled people, it wasn't intentional. Um, I, th I think that what Dermot said was is that you've got to vote to keep people in. The only thing we didn't say, there was going to be a sing-off. So essentially the same rules applied. Um, I can't answer the second part of the question, but I can apologise to anybody who was misled. It wasn't intentional. Um, all Dermot and the show were trying to point people to is that if you want people to stay in, you've got to pick up the phone to vote. And the same thing applies this weekend. Hi, I'm Laura from Hello Magazine. Uh, Danny and Cheryl, there's been lots in the press about style this year. Can you tell us anything about the outfits you've got 